Well, David Coombs, who's head of strategic services at Chale UK, is with me in the studio. I mean, how staggering are these figures? Three and a half hours per day on average. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Huge, huge numbers. But I don't think we're seeing um, anything that's breaking a trend. We've, we've seen this over the last few years, sort of growing and growing and growing in terms of smartphone adoption. Obviously, as the cost of technology goes down, more people are getting into the smartphone market. I think the difference now is that we have a, a generation, a younger generation, so Generation Z, if you want to call them that, who have, who have uh, not sort of um, adopted the smartphone as part of their life when they were sort of going about their, their life in other ways. They've actually been sort of brought up on the smartphone. And that is really spurring things on a lot now. I and think. we're not just talking social media. We're talking about no. all the essential ways people manage their lives now being transmitted to just using their phone rather than sitting on a PC or doing it manually. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a, that's a huge point. So gaming, of course, is massive. Um, but we're seeing, you know, the connected life now. So, you, you know, you may control your, your heating from your, you know, and your, and your home from your, your smartphone, uh, financial services, video editing, all of that kind of stuff now. So much more lifestyle is all being centred around the smartphone. So we're seeing a huge growth across the board. And, and we tend to take them with us everywhere we go. Absolutely. I mean, I've got mine with me here on set. Just make sure it's on silent, it is. <laughs> but uh, we even take it into the toilet with yeah. us. So we, we sort of, just in case it rings or something pings. And, and whilst we have it with us all the time, it's listening to us, isn't it? It's just yeah. gathering data constantly. Yeah. And that's the worry. What's being done with that information? Yeah, I mean, and that's the, the huge, uh, I guess, opportunity that, that brands and advertisers are, are seizing upon because they see that now this wealth of data as a way to be able to connect to these audiences because like you say they are pretty much 24-7 uh, connected you know maybe a few hours of sleep but most of the time that mobile phone is, is always there with them so they're trying to understand how they can use that data to tap into those audiences and use it to sell their products or engage more around the, the services they already have. Do you see this these figures just simply going up and up I mean I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a point where they start to recede a little again. Well I think certainly for the next few years they will they will continue to go up and up I think you know things like 5G being rolled out um, is going to just sort of give that another turbo boost and we'll see more and more services you know so things like video streaming will become much more prevalent um, already we're seeing a lot of growth in that with new services coming on board but I think 5G will really kind of catapult that even further I think moving beyond that maybe five or ten years we may start to see a, a world where we maybe slightly start to move away from our smartphones as more as more independent wearable devices have connectivity but smartphones are certainly here for the foreseeable have you done a digital detox uh, I haven't. Um, because? As of yet. Do you feel it's necessary? Um, I think because of the world that I live in um, and this <laughs> the kind job of, you do. And the job I do. It's, a, it, it's harder for me to have a point of view if I'm completely detoxed. Um, although I do try and limit, certainly when I go home and things like that, I, de I definitely try and limit and put the, the mobile away so I'm, I'm not sort of looking at it because it's so, it becomes just an, yeah. a, you know, a habit that you don't even realise you're doing after a while. David, thank you very much. David Coombs, Head of Strategic Services at Chale UK, thank you.